<laughs> Wee! Uh. Yeah. Whoa. Hey guys. Welcome to uh, EB Colossus Shadow Trees. What? Um, whoa. Welcome back. Hello. Today we're going to talk to uh, whatever we can find down here after last time Doug and I annihilated this big old skeleton creature. Centrina. Oh, Centrina. What velvety ambrosia is this? Your poison and the sweet sleep that follows. Oh, please, let me hear your voice. <sighs> then you too must have paid a visit. To Centrina's garden of deepest purple. I'm drifting off in the sea of her poison. Soon I will hear her voice. Let me be. I won't be long. Oh, I almost forgot. You mustn't follow my example. Centrina's poison would plunge you into an eternal slumber. It must be me. And only me. I am gone. Adrift in sleep. So that I may hear Centrina's lost voice. Let me be. I won't be long. Grant me more of your poison, so I might drift further into sleep. Perhaps then you'll grace me with your voice. Please, leave me alone. of Centrina. Why would you hear her voice when I cannot? If you should utter these cruel untruths to me again, I, I won't be held responsible for my actions. Please, enough. I cannot believe your cheek. And I will stand for it no longer. 
I will never forgive you. to anyone, beginning to end, weak as a kitten and thick as two planks, I suppose dying in disgrace is fitting, in a way, <sighs> tell me, please, assuming you spoke the truth back then, what did Satrina tell you? Wretched soul. A nightmare could plague me. Such a thing could possibly be. Could it? Satrina, please let me hear your voice in my everlasting slumber. I will follow the horn scent. To have his revenge on Sir Mesmer, there is only one place he will go. The Black Keep. Very well. And that's where we'll go as well, then. That was, uh... I remember the first time coming through this took me and my friend a while to... Well, like, what are we supposed to do with this, uh... St. Trina thing? And we, we just kept killing ourselves and... Hey, turns out, that was the answer. Um, I'm not going to fight this fire giant right now, because it, this one's the most annoying one, I think. And I don't really think I need what he drops either. There's quite a few, I think they all drop um, more or less the same things. They drop their crafting materials to throw the bomb things into their faces, and uh, they also like destroying the frame rate. And they each drop, I think they each drop a unique, um, what are they called? Flask tier thing. You know what's weird? There's like nothing up here. Which I find very bizarre, ow. Oh look, a bridge. Yes. We'll go to that bridge soon. As for today's episode, for the rest of it, 
Uh, I'm not sure how much more to do. I also don't know how much... I mean, right now, I've been recording for 15 minutes, but I don't know how much of that is going to be cut out because it was just, you know, basically running back and forth. But we'll see. Um, let's blast this thing real quick. Shall we? Do I have any other great arrows? Yeah. It would feel, feel like a shame to waste uh, these. Oh. Yeah, it'd be a shame to waste the Radan ones. Will this even kill this thing? I mean, if I don't hit it, then obviously not. Okay. Oh. Oh, did he go all the way up there? Uh, I think I may have lost that one then. Oh, there he is. Come back here. Rolling sparks. Let's go back to that. Yeah, I really wish we had a just a bow slot. Or just a ranged weapon slot, you know? Um, it's kind of weird I can summon spirit ashes here. Like, what's the point? I mean, I could, what, put Latena up here, maybe? Let her, uh... Ow. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, let her try and snipe the thing. The fire giant, furnace giant, whatever those things are called. But as for actually <laughs> a reason to come up here, uh, ain't ain't much of one. You know, I'm I'm really not sure. Should we go through this way first, or should we go through this way first? Maybe we'll go. Maybe we'll go the other way. I've never gone the other way first. I don't know if anything. If you get locked out of anything, if anything changes. I feel like you probably wouldn't. Oh. A rat. Yeah, well, I mean, there is a... Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll go up here, we'll do the thing, and then we'll uh, go the other way. I know, that's very clear and concise, isn't it? We'll go up there and do the thing. Oh, yeah. Man, it's been so hot, I haven't been recording much the last couple of... Uh, Days, like 32 degrees and you know whenever whenever it gets hot over here people online especially americans like oh what, what do you mean it, oh, it's 32 that's not that hot so yeah because we don't have air conditioning and we have different levels of humidity and stuff you know like when i was uh, in minnesota it was uh, 100 degrees fahrenheit but I didn't complain because, you know, everywhere had air conditioning. The humidity levels were different. It wasn't really an issue. But here, it, it sucks. Uh, why don't we have air conditioning? I, I c couldn't tell you. I don't know why. Maybe they think it doesn't get hot enough or long enough. I just... I don't know. It, it sucks, though. I do like the warmth. I just don't like being out, or rather, I don't be, I don't be, I don't like being stuck inside. Here is what I was looking for. I don't like being stuck inside with no air on. I have a fan, but I usually keep that in the bedroom because trying to sleep in the heat. Oh man, that's the worst. Ah. Uh. They should just really start putting AC in places. Wow, look how bright it is out there now. And if I went back out there... I mean, look, I'll go back out there and it'll get probably darker. Very special lighting. Alright, let's head up here, shall we? Let's 
It's a really weird gate. Shadow Keep. Yeah, coming up here is another way to trigger the the Great Rune breaking. Or I think Noiv Camp is coming very close. I just heard a summon sign. Who's that? Who? Oh, you. Interesting. Uh, but she will make it harder. <laughs> I mean, whatever, we'll, we'll try it once with her. Um, hmm. I don't really know what I want to use against this boss. Try this. It's a go. Oh, okay. See, I hadn't actually seen that attack before, so I was like, that looks like a grab, but I'm not sure. <laughs> hey, now I know. your crit points so far away. Well, this thing's so ugly. I, I'm stuck in a corner. I can't see anything. It's good. Haha. What? <laughs> mm. That wasn't too bad, actually. But I think that probably would have been easier without her. Ah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Necessary. Oh, we're at 20-ish minutes. Um, let's talk to this guy, who's not really a guy. We have not been abandoned. Mesmer is the son of Queen Marika. Her grace would never abandon her own flesh and blood. She might. You don't know that. <laughs> I know, you're probably thinking, oh, what about the Cathedral of Manus? Manus Me Too over there. We'll, we'll go there. We'll go there once we have access to all the bits that are needed for it. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna come this way. Is I've never been this way before. The other way. I don't really think it will matter at all. But we're gonna we're gonna do it. Plus this bit's relatively short too. <laughs> they say that's so weird how it dismounts you there. Like why not here? Shadow Keep, Church District. Let's level up real quick. And now we have this little area to deal with. Hey, you eat? Man, I was real spooked coming here the first time. Can we even jump on this one? What's the point of that? Maybe it's just to show you. Oh, look, there's things that you can jump on, which you do not need to. But. It can be done! Yay! Are you? Yeah, this bit. Scary. Scary, spooky leviathans. 
Tell you what, doing this jump kind of sucks with my controller being the way it is. Oh, it's so scary. Not really anything we need either. You know, when in doubt, just teleport back. <laughs> um. Is, uh... Aww. Aww. I was thinking the other day it's kind of interesting sometimes when you get um, a character in you know like a book TV show whatever who they're not meant to be like a bad guy. Maybe they're even meant to be a a good guy, but they can be really annoying or just make you dislike them. Have you ever run into examples like that? I, I know I have. Like, um, one that I have always found very irritating. Uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, Trillian, Trisha McMillan, mostly in the later stuff, but just kind of always. And I think a big part of that was, now, people will, and she defends it herself even in the books, defend it, but she, oh, that was good game. She abandons her daughter I mean, for one thing, she she decides that she wants a daughter and she realizes eventually after she gets like a a specimen that it's it can only be from the main character because he's the only human like in existence other than her at that point in that story. So she realizes that oh, it must it must be his. She doesn't tell him and then once, uh, when when does she tell him? Oh yeah, she she leaves she leaves her daughter at her, like a nursery, where what is it? She says something like, "Oh, you, you they're like a child when you leave them in the morning, and they're a teenager when you pick them up," sort of thing. So then eventually she decides, "Oh, I want to go and cover like a, a war, because I'm a journalist or whatever." So at that point, she goes and she finds the main character, who she hasn't spoken to in years, and just drops off her daughter with him. And it's like, hey, here's your here's your daughter. You need to take responsibility and now, uh, you know, raise her whilst I go and cover this war for a bit. And I don't know, something about that just, like, wow, what a self-centered person. That, you know, doesn't want a child for any other reason than, oh, I want a child, because it's, like, part of what I should do. It's not... I don't know. I mean, you know, people can have kids for whatever reasons, but if you're going to have a kid, you should actually raise it. If you know that you're going to be a single parent, and you're just going to leave your child, like, in daycare all the time, why are you even having a child? Why are you making the decision to have a child? And then not tell the father. And then just one day just dump the child on the father with like no real expectations of what either of them should or will be going through especially as said father is currently living on a planet that's like got zero technology <laughs> and the child is used to you know intergalactic levels of technology having like a something like she has like a tv embedded in her wrist sort of thing, you know, like, it, I don't know, man, it, it bugged me, and it, this is a comedy series too, but there are serious moments in it, and that just, that just always rubbed me the wrong way, and it always made me dislike that character, 
and it's not even for like any sort of like personal reason like it's not like oh i relate to that because i don't know it has something similar to what i went through it's like no I, i've never been through anything like that but like it just irritated me i guess the other character is uh Egwene in uh wheel of time what a horrible person <laughs> and did someone actually wrote like a 50 page forum post explaining all these horrible things that she does which um, I mean that's not what made me dislike her I already disliked her um, yeah we'll go up here and grab the bonfire seeing as it's there the, I think you know this there's so many things with the game but if I had to pick one one thing so uh, no, it's been it's been a couple months I think since I've read this particular bit, but she is in um, a place called the World of Dreams where you're not supposed to go without being supervised because it's a very dangerous place. But she goes there, and then she meets her friend there, and either her friend sort of catches her there when she wasn't expecting her. I don't quite remember, but either way, she's caught doing something that she shouldn't be doing. And to sort of cover up that fact, she turns the offensive, you could say, onto her friend and, like, bullies her, which ultimately results in her kind of threatening her friend with rape. Because in this world of dreams, things that you imagine can, you know, become real. Like, if you imagine yourself over there then you will go over there if something attacks you and you imagine that the attack doesn't work you know it's like that it's um i don't know it's almost like the matrix or something with uh you know neo has to just believe things but anyway she summons some like monster things and has them like attack her friend and her friend fears that she's going to be raped at one point it's not like written as obviously as that because you know it's not that sort of book but that's the pretty obvious implication there and i'm like wow that's how you treat your friend like your best friend man Egwene, you're you're kind of a bitch but uh yeah i mean there's many other things too but Queen Marika, mother to us all, favor me with thy grace. I have met many who would threaten or distress thee, and quelled each and all, and I hereby swear to never cease. So please, grant me thy grace, leave me with my solitary light. Queen Marika, I implore thee, Bestow thy grace, take not from me my solitary light. Queen, take not from me. from me, deignest thou not to look upon me? Uh, all this time, I held in my heart only thee. Well, that's what you get for invading me a couple times, for no reason, really. Um, yeah, you can give those guys... I mean, what, what, there's like two people you can do that to. You can give them the black eye or the gold eye. Uh, the gold eye turns them into a spirit ash. And the black eye more or less just kills them and you get that item. In his case, a, a great, I mean, I mean, sorry, just, just look at this real quick. If I can find it. 
Oh, there it is. Yeah, okay, so it's called a great sword. It's classified as a heavy thrusting sword. Weirdest. What a weird weapon. Anyway, let's go back to the... That one. Mmm. Yeah. Man, screw Egwene. She, I mean, she like kind of redeems herself by the end of the series. But... Even, even like, you know, her, her buddy Garwin, he hates the main character because of things the main character didn't do. Egwene knows that, but she doesn't really tell him that to, you know, ease his suffering at any point. She's just like, eh, don't worry about it. Must admit, the last like five seconds of that cutscene kind of bug me. Like, I I I get it from Soft. I can see what's down there. You don't need to show me that bonfire right in front of me. Like, it's not a big problem or anything. I just think it's kind of silly they did that. Yeah. Ah, whatever. Let's uh, let's uh, grab it real quick. I think we'll we'll call it fairly soon because. We're at, I'm at about 40 minutes, m minus a few for St. Trina multiple suicides, but, uh, it's, um, we'll go, there's like two big douchebags out here. We'll fight those real quick. Hey, ya -ha. Hmm. Possibly deserved. And uh, yup. And here I go. Okay, why didn't you do your fire attack? Can this thing not bleed? Hmm. You you would think. Ah, also I could jump over that. You would think this thing can bleed. Oh, maybe it can't. Odd. Whatever. You done skis. Yay. Mantle of thorns. This water right here looks so relatively blue and clean compared to a lot of the water. Hmm. Alright, there's like one more over here too. What what oh my goodness, my controller. That's really not what I wanted. Right there. Foolish. Foolish crab. Be gone. Be gone from this place. 
And that's a shortcut back to the first bonfire, I think. Pretty, pretty pointless one. TBH. Let's do this. Is there even anything worth it in here? I know there's a crab over there. He's gonna be like, ooh, my crab ambush ability. Oh, that was a grab. Curse you, Bail. <laughs> Curse you, Crabble. Can I get behind these crabs here? Yeah. <laughs> ah, that's satisfying. Oh, I should have charged attacked. What is that for a hitbox? He was guarding pretty much nothing. Um, what is the other thing here guarding? I think he drops. Man, look at that blood. It, that looks wrong. Hmm. I wanna... Hmm, <clears throat> fire or just giant hunt? Let's try giant hunt. Ah, yeah, suck. Oh. Thank you, controller. <clears throat> Revenge time. Yes, that's it, do your fire. Can I get another one? Ah, oh, so close. Hello. Carve them up. Smash them in. Oh dear. What? Did I just counter after... Like a back roll dodge. I did not know that could happen. Huh. Genuinely didn't know that could happen. Like. Maybe I've just never tried before. I didn't even try that time. It was just like input delay. Or like the queued inputs that this game series is well known for. Mmm. -hmm. Alright, well, let's, um, uh, yeah, let's call it here, I think. This seems like a good spot. And then next time, we'll continue down here, and if we go up, down, and then we go up even more. It's, it's a good old time, isn't it? Alright, well, thank you so much for watching. And yeah, leave it, leave me a comment down below telling me what fictional character just annoys you. Why don't you like him? And it's, um, you know, ideally, we're talking about characters who, like, they're not, like, meant to be disliked. They're not, like, a bad character in the sense that, oh, there's a, you know, I don't know, the, the bad guy. Right? Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Ciao.